Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Joining us today is James Campbell, who is a non-executive director of Shepherd Gems, which is a company in Israel focused exclusively on the mining exploration of precious stones. Sir, welcome back, James. How are you? Very good indeed, Rob, and it's lovely to join you on this podcast. Good. Um, James, do you think you can give us a, a company overview, please? Absolutely, Rob. Uh, Shepherd Gems was listed on the main board of the London Stock Exchange in December 2017, after having been in operation for almost 20 years. Uh, the company has a mine to market strategy designed to commercialize a unique suite of gemstones whose primary origin is on Mount Carmel in northern Israel and whose secondary source is the adjacent Kishon Midreach deposit. This unique suite of gemstones includes diamond, moissanite, Carmel Sapphire, which has both a unique mineral and has been trademarked, Sapphire, Ruby, Hibonite, Ilmenite, Garnet and Spinel. So it really does have a, a polymineralic deposit. And the aim of the company is to commercialize all of this, get a premium in terms of the combination of the minerals itself, as well as, of course, uh, the unique locality in the land of northern Israel. Thanks for that. Um, do you think uh, you can tell us how the sector is doing? Absolutely, Rob. A lot of people will be familiar with the diamond sector. And the diamond sector is not one sector. It is made up of a number of different sectors. And as is common with most kind of newscasts, one looks tends to look towards the negative side. Yes, lower quality and smaller diamonds have dropped in prices by around about 30% year on year. But larger stones have generally held their prices. But more importantly, colored diamonds have actually increased their prices. So if we look at this, how it, this impacts on, on Shepherd Gems, the global gemstone market last year was approximately $22 billion. So it is a very significant market and it's expected to grow at a compound asset growth rate of around about 5% uh, from now over to the next five years. And in fact, prices have increased by over 100% in the last decade. So it certainly seems that the world is moving uh, towards uh, colored stones of value and of particular value if you can actually describe their locality and have a chain of custody all the way back to uh, the location itself. They're in the, uh, our stated strategy of being a vertically integrated company of moving from exploration through to mining all the way through to marketing itself. Okay, and uh, what about the minerals? Can you tell us a little bit about what you have? Absolutely. The, the origin of the minerals is Mount Carmel. Uh, Mount Carmel is, is a suite of high pressure and high temperature volcanics, which are host to this mineral suite. Immediately adjacent to Mount Carmel is the Kishon Midreach Valley, where these minerals have been concentrated into trap sites, uh, which is where we're going to be focusing the trial mining. The mineral suite, or as we like to call it, the gem box assemblage, includes diamond, moissanite, carmel sapphire, sapphire, ruby, hibonite, ilmenite, garnet, and, and spinel. So it really is, is very unique in terms of its combination of uh, very beautiful uh, and, and also from a technical perspective, high pressure and high temperature rare minerals. All right. And uh, maybe you can uh, tell us a bit more about what's the, uh, the wider exploration potential for the company. Well, we've we've assessed the Kishon Midreach Zone 1 to a large degree. Uh, we've undertaken significant geological work, uh, including tr drilling and bulk sampling, and have in fact recovered over 10,000 carats in, in this particular zone, which for those of your listeners who are familiar with diamond deposits, is you, you typically uh, recover 3,000 carats for an indicated resource. So this is a very significant number. At the moment, we, we've just completed the, uh, the bulk sampling and drilling of Zone 2, which is immediately contiguous to Zone 1. And we're currently processing uh, the gravels through our uh, treatment facility at ACO. And we'll be announcing those results in the first quarter of next year. And then ultimately, uh, from an exploration perspective, we would want to go and have a very hard look at Mount Carmel uh, to see if there are any primary sources where these minerals have been concentrated. Now, the important question that most investors have uh, is always regarding news flow. So do you think you can give us the timeline to mining? 
absolutely, Rob. There are four kind of main areas which we are working on at the moment, which culminate uh, in, in us actually mining. The first is the regulatory process, where we're working hard towards achieving what they call in Israel a discovery certificate, which then uh, opens the door for a uh, mining permit and, and then to get going. Parallel to this, uh, we are going through the detail from our technical, economic and evaluation, uh, which we undertook last year, which basically defines the, the mining and processing methodologies for the mine itself. And in fact, we've already begun to expand our processing facility at ACO uh, to accept the much larger samples or, or mining as it will take place next year. Uh, and then thirdly, as I mentioned earlier, is to conclude the sampling of zone two, which will then add to the, the, the mineable deposit. And then finally is to go one step further from the trial marketing that we did with Yossi Harari, uh, a very famous uh, Turkish uh, a jeweler who has a great following in the United States and to develop a, a, a multi-channel marketing strategy so that once we do have the permit and, and once we have started processing uh, the, the tonnages in, in large abundance, we have the marketing channels which can uh, uh, be there for us to uh, get a significant premium on these goods into uh, the market itself. Brilliant. Well, James, uh, thanks for joining us again. And uh, I hope for the investors that uh, gives them a bit more insight from uh, the previous podcast. So uh, I look forward to hearing from you in the future. Uh, thank you very much, Rob. And I, I look forward to updating you and the investors at the appropriate time. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.